five. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frederick Chisholm. And in thinking about what I was going to present this afternoon, I kept thinking to myself, self, what would be a topic that everyone would be interested in? And self said, that's something you're going to have to figure out for yourself. <laughs> uh, how many of you know what I do in the weekly messages when I put them out? What is my direction in the weekly messages? That I do? You guys ever think about that? What I focus on? So as to bring it to the full circle, and obviously, like most of the employees, you're not reading the weekly messages. <laughs> <laughs> what I normally focus on in my weekly message is personal responsibility. And that is what I am going to be speaking about this afternoon. And this personal responsibility involves working in an unethical environment. That was my working title initially uh, for this presentation, and I changed it to managing what that means is that there are certain things that we need to do as managers in order to make sure that we get the buy-in from our staff, that we are always going to do what is right, no matter what is presented to us, no matter what it feels like. And so I know that we have gone through several uh, instances of psychobabble, whether it involves the strategic planning, whether it was the course at <laughs> UCLA, uh, the one course at UCLA, I remember that some of us attended that had an odd title, and that was uh, uh, Intelligence. Stop, what was that title? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what it was about was the, the uh, in, in about ethical intelligence and about what you should be doing in terms of dealing with, uh, dealing with each other. Uh, there was also the course, many of us remember the course with Jane Polka. It was developing Charlie, again, more cycle battle. And then finally, of course, we have, we come full circle with the LVP, additional cycle battle. But what is interesting in all the cycle battles is that there is some value in what is being presented. And I remember Santo said to us early on in our, in our involvement in this uh, LVP and all the other nonsense that we've gone through. And by the way, when I use the word nonsense, it, it, it is a good thing or it can be a bad thing. There is uh, good stuff, there's bad stuff, there's good crap, and there's bad crap. So whenever you hear me use the word nonsense, I am not saying it in a derogatory manner. And he said that you don't have to accept it all. Just take what you feel that you're comfortable with and go with it. And so that led me to attending a CAA conference in the past week that involved the annual conference down at the CAA. And it was very difficult for me because we were sitting there as a group and one of the present presenters was giving a talk on fraud. And in this speech on fraud, she used our assessor as an example. And it was difficult because we sat there and up on this screen that just seemed to fill the room was this picture of our boss. Two pictures of our boss, pre-arrest and post-arrest. And it stayed up there for a good 20 minutes. So there we were sitting there watching this particular presentation, listening to her. But in that presentation, there was one thing that she said that was still very meaningful. And she says, well, when you find yourself in an unethical situation, you need to get out. And despite how uncomfortable I was with the message and what she was talking about, I took that to heart because that is truly what it meant for, to me, looking at that and understanding that there are times when we're going to have to make decisions, there are things that we're going to have to do. There's a phrase that I, I coined called CAP, and CAP is just stands for Compensation, Ambition, and Position. We should never allow the CAP to define our moral compass. We must always be focused on doing what's right, regardless of what the consequences. Very early on in my career as a supervising appraiser, I was in a unit that wanted me to do something that I was very uncomfortable with. And in the course of coming to the decision to tell my manager that I could not participate in that, I often wondered, what would it do for my career? I went ahead and advised that I was not comfortable in signing off on this particular document. And surprisingly, it was very well accepted. And so from that point on, I've always taken the position that no matter what, if you do not have integrity, if you do 
do not stand for something, then you die for nothing. So it's very important that no matter what consequences, no matter what circumstances that you're presented with, if you're not comfortable with it, you need to stand up and say, I need to step away from this. Regardless of what the consequences would do for you financially, for your ambition, and for your position. And so with that, I just wanted to say thank you for tolerating my nonsense <laughs> and uh, walking with me down this path toward uh, the immoral conversation.